Morning all, Mr. Wilson. Thought I should share a good news story about this little escort. Uh, my youngest son bought this escort when he was, I don't know, 15 or 16. Six or seven years ago. And the paint was as it is. He did do some work on the interior. And he did some work on the engine. And he didn't have his license. And he, he was buying and selling, working his way up. So he brought this. Or I should say, he sold it. Which I think he regretted. But here we are, six or seven years later, and it's back in the driveway. Pretty much as it was. Um, people who got it put some window rubbers in it, and done a few bits and pieces. And yeah, it's back. So it still needs work. It's not perfect. It was yellow before it was blue. Hence the yellow and black interior. I'll see if I can get the bonnet open. How do you open the bonnet on this escort? It's been a while. That should be something. Something up here. There it is. Yeah, so that steering wheel wasn't on it. That shifter wasn't on it. On the roof line. I'm not sure if they put a new roof line in it or not. But um, he brought it without an engine, and this was the first engine that he he did himself with a bit of help from old Mr. Wilson. But he did most of it himself. Sorry about the view. I've got to hold the camera while I open the bonnet. But there it is, the 1600, pretty much as he left it. Um, painted the block, put the extractors on, we pulled the sump off, the bearings were good, the rings were good, so it was just a new gasket kit and a paint to clean up. I repaired the firewall there for him. And yeah, so it's just, there's still good people around. The uh, guy that brought it had more than twice as much as my son sold it for on it just quite a bit and it's you look at that paint it's pretty good so yeah the guy was trying to sell he dropped his price a little bit i think the son messaged him and then the guy said you can pretty much have it back for i think it's 500 dollars more than what he sold it for so by the time he paid for transport from Hobart and um, brought her up here I think it cost him a thousand dollars more than what he sold it for but it come back with new window rubbers the windows weren't in it then when he sold it and I think it's had a couple of steering components done so yeah thanks to the guy who sold it to him I don't know who you are but um, he knew it was his first car and he just said well pretty much give me back what I paid for it and um, yeah let's just say the price paid wouldn't pay for the paint job no way would it so yeah interesting story nice little esky it's not registered now but um, he's gone through the list and he's figuring out odds and ends it needs it doesn't need much and it'll be registered i imagine in the next few weeks and he's going to use it for his daily driver so hopefully he doesn't sell it again i don't think he will this time first car and all you'd probably want to keep it wouldn't you so yeah the i built a couple with i used to take the 1600s out and put two liters in them but i think the 1600 is a better engine so they're not overly powerful obviously the only little thing but um this was running on two cylinders well it had no spark when he got it back this time and then he set the coil up changed the fire and order on the leads because they were wrong and we only had two cylinders running 
and it was just a matter of cleaning up number one and four plug and now she's running on all four and she's running pretty sweet so yeah a few little jobs and you'll have her back on the road there's still good people around eh? fancy that like six seven years to sell it for the same price basically is what they paid for it even though they've done the window rubbers and stuff like that that's pretty good good on you mate thumbs up to mr wilson for um setting young bloke up with his car again so his electric xc panel van in the shed it's got a 351 in it now that's that's it fires but it still needs a lot a lot of work so that's gone on the back burner for a little bit while he gets this one going for his his daily head turner i guess because she's a pretty nice little unit but yeah thought i'd better do a video uh, the Volkswagen's nearly ready for Rego, so we'll get that done soon. And, um, yeah, the panel van's still an ongoing thing. The XC wagon that you've all seen is up for sale. Um, neither of us have really got time to do it. I'm trying to do the bus and um, finish the odds and ends on the Baja Bug. Yeah, nice little escort. Don't see them like this very often. Little beast. Alright, Mr. Wilson out of here. Have a good day.